it's a really magical place. I've never experienced nothing like it. The minute I walked in that building, you know you are somewhere special. So the mission is providing food, health care, and a way forward to people severely affected by poverty in the Omaha area. Well, we're right in the middle of a food desert. We're in one of the uh, poorest uh, zip codes in the country. So we have a pantry that gives out in between 12 and 15,000 pounds of food a day. In 2022, we served uh, 3.2 million pounds of food. Uh, last year, we did about um, close to 4 million pounds of food. We help about 1,100 families a week. It's real intense, it's real hands-on. Dignity for all is, is, is respect um, for anyone who comes through our doors. Doesn't matter what you look like, doesn't matter your, your station in life. It's uh, when you come into our doors, we're going to help serve you. Uh, and there are different entry points, whether it be the entry point of healthcare or laundry uh, or our food distribution. We're gonna serve you no matter what. Um, we're gonna help you get to the next uh, place in life that you want to be. Uh, so it doesn't matter who you are, what you look like, what your religion is, we're gonna help and serve you. Uh, we're open to everybody, so you'll get all walks of life coming through there. When you come in there, whether you're a city official or a homeless person, you're gonna get treated exactly the same. So it's a, it's a really special place. Uh, heart's a place of healing. Um, and again, I can't really put my finger on what it is, uh, but when you're there, whatever it is that you're going through, it helps you to heal. Uh, it helps you to belong. Uh, helps you to be part of something that's bigger than yourself. I'm, I'm very proud to be a part of this thing, and it, I don't know, I don't know what to call it, but I know it's special, and I know I am blessed to be a part of it. So knowing that, it makes me go that much harder. It makes me, you know, make those extra phone calls or take those phone calls uh, late at night to to help. A hero, someone who's vulnerable, um, who may be trying to figure it out but you have the superpower that you're trying to learn how to wield. And as you're wielding that superpower, like most of our staff, right? Um, I see our staff as heroes. Um, it's a tough place to be sometimes. And so I see our staff as the heroes in the community that wield the power necessary um, for, our, for our community members, for our volunteers, um, for the community for Omaha. Um, our staff is a, 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 our heroes to me.